Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and today we're going to take a look at a common problem that people come across when working with 2D tiles in Unity. So I've got a little bit of a setup here of uh, five little separate tile sprites that we've got going on that we're going to take a look at and see what our little issue is when we play a game. So at the moment, if we look at this sprite here, for example, this looks like a, a nice solid block of ground with a bit of grass on top. If I go ahead and play the game, then right now that looks fine, but if I move a little bit, you'll see two little lines appear in the middle of the tiles. And that's because there's because they're separate tile objects, uh, it's making a little tiny gap appear between them. And there's a reason for how Unity does this, and we'll go into that in a minute. Um, but obviously it's something that uh, we don't really want to deal with. So we'll have a, it's happening here on this one. It's not happening on this one because I've got a different setup going on. Uh, again, we'll dive into that. It's not happening on this one either because that's this is going to be the fixed version that we're going to do in this video. We're going to learn how to do. And there's a couple of different other ones here. We got like this one has pink lines through it. And then we have this other one uh, which is blank. And this is the one we're going to all fix up together and see how this works. So why is this happening? Why are we getting these little lines appear? Well, if I unpause here and go look at the art file and all these files for this episode will be down below so if you want to follow through along uh, you can do the exact same things as what we're doing here so if I look at the sprite editor here so we've got these different tiles already set up for us so if we look at this one here this sheet the uh, essentially if you got a tile sheet like this with the tiles spaced out with space around them um, basically what unity does is if we select this object so we've selected this object be the full size of the sprite on this sheet which is perfectly fine that's what we wanted to do but the problem is sometimes when unity can't fit the sprite in fully into the scene it'll take a tiny tiny little slice of whatever is beside the sprite so in that situation that's how we end up with if we look back in here oh no if we close this and look back in here we play it again that's why we end up with little lines appearing there like that. If we also take a look and say this one down here where I've drawn around it with pink like this, that's why we can see down here, if we press play and I move the camera down, down here we can see all these pink lines in between these tiles. So you can tell by that, it's not just the fact that Unity is just taking these tiles and adding a tiny little gap between them, it's actually taking a little bit of whatever is beside it on the tile sheet. Now there's 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 one way which is kind of a very simple way to fix this, but doesn't always work. And that is if I go to edit project settings and uh, go to quality here, if you turn off anti-aliasing, so disable anti-aliasing, and I press play here, and I move well now it looks like we've we've gotten rid of those lines. They look they look absolutely fine. We're not getting the pink lines down below here, but if I, for example, start zooming in and moving around, if I zoom in more, zoom in. Well, okay, just coincidentally we're not uh, there we go. There we go. We're getting the line appearing. So it doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen. And it's not just when zooming in, it can happen just even being zoomed out like normal and we move around. You can occasionally see the line will just pop into view. So we obviously don't want that. So using the anti-aliasing solution doesn't always work. And sometimes sometimes in your game, you want to be able to use anti-aliasing even in a 2D environment. So how can we, what can we do to change that? Well, the first solution is to just move all your tiles close together. So if we go back and look at the sprite sheet again, you can see here, although it looks like there's a line lines between them, that's just because of the way the boxes are drawn. If I open the file I have here we can see that here the this this is the full solid block looks perfectly fine we'd be perfectly happy with that if it would work because it looks like it's getting rid of the gaps but the problem is we still have a gap at the very edge of this object here and a gap at the very edge on the other side and what if to save space on a tile sheet you want to position other objects right beside your tile sheet. You don't want, don't want to have to leave a whole uh, full block size empty beside this. So for example, I just set this up here with a little pink circle to the side of it. If we go back into our game, 
uh, oh, I don't want to apply that. Um, and if I take this tile here, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to move it over to here. If I start zooming in, now you'll see, oh, you, we're getting the pink line from the edge of that little, from the very edge there of that circle. And we're also getting a bit of a gap appearing here as well. So that solution isn't going to work. It's not going to work at all, really. Because uh, you need to have you need to have other objects on your sprite sheet being able to touch against other objects, or else you're just kind of wasting your time a little bit. You're kind of you're wasting a lot of space on your sheet sprite sheet. So over here, this is the solution that I've found that works every single time. I I haven't had any issues with doing this. We, I, I don't end up with any kind of weird gaps in between my tiles at all. I don't have to worry about the anti aliases and setting. So if I look at this guy here. No matter how much I move this around, if I go and play the game, and I'll move over, you can see all the tiles popping out there. If I go over to this guy and I, if I zoom in, I can zoom in as far as I want, I can zoom in and out, I can move around. No matter how much I move, we don't get the little lines appearing. And it's a little bit more of an involved way and something you need to consider when you're making your tiles. But it's the absolute best way to do this. And the only guaranteed way that I've seen to actually uh, remove that little gap in between tiles. So what is happening with this one? If we open up the sprite sheet again and we go over here, you'll notice we have the boxes set up here. And the boxes have the same gap that these tiles have. But now what I've done is essentially drawn around the edges of this object. So you can see, for example, if we look at this up, this one here, we've got this little kind of triangle shape of pixels and then a little darker pixel. And over here we can see there's the triangle shape and the darker pixel. But we've taken that darker pixel and drawn it down one, over one, and we just fill in the corner as well. And then the little lighter bit, we've drawn it over to the side and so on, so on, all the way around. And if you do that all the way around the sprite, uh, no matter what way you set it up then, you've essentially fixed any of those weird errors. So now, now if I was to take, uh, am I on the right one? Just making sure, yeah. If I was to take this guy here, duplicate him, and move him over to this side, no matter how much we move in and zoom in on this one, we won't get that gap appearing. There, there is a line there, obviously, but that's just the uh, Unity's background grid. Uh, so perfect, that's the, that's the way we want to do it. So how can we go about doing that? Well, I'll show you how I do it in Photoshop, the same, Thing can be applied to any image editing programming really um, it just takes it doesn't take too long to do really I usually do it once I've finished creating a tile sheet I'll go and do this method so I'm gonna open this up in Photoshop so I'm gonna take our sprite image I'm gonna open it in the Explorer here then I'm gonna open up in Photoshop I'm just gonna click and drag this in here and then what I'll do uh, actually before we do it I'm gonna say we're going to draw around this bottom sprite here, which, if we go back into Unity, is this one here. And you can see on this one, we're getting the lines appearing because we haven't done it yet. We just want to demonstrate that it will actually change. So at the moment, you can see all the lines appearing when we move around. If we start zooming in, especially, we get them. If we zoom out, it's even worse because they get bigger relative to the sprite as you go. And that, that's, that's, that's not very good. <laughs> so... It, we know what's happening on this block, so let's fix it up on that block. So the way to fix it up that I found that is the easiest is essentially to take a slice from the left side of every one of these objects, move it over one, take a slice from the right side, move it over, and then take a slice from the top and the bottom and move it up and down, respectively. So I will select my, um, what is this tool called? The marquee tool, yes. So I'm just gonna make sure I select only one pixel on the left of this object. Same here, one pixel on that object and one pixel on this one. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it. So Control and C and then Control and V. And then if I press V again, I'm now in the move mode so I can just press the left arrow once to move it over to the side. And now it's been extended out to the side. So that's fine, let's do the same on the other side. We'll have our marquee tool, so select it up here or just hit M, pick the right side of all the objects, like that, 
and we go back to the layer we're supposed to be copying from copy that paste it in uh, it appeared a little bit too high there but we can just move down into position and make sure it's one over to the right so now you can see we don't have any gaps in between our tiles so if we were to save this now so I have to hit save save it as the same file so I just overwriting the file and we were to go back into unity now if we play we should see we only get the lines on the up uh, or on the horizontal lines on this because we fill in all the gaps that are running vertical so no matter how much we move around now perfect that would work nicely for us so let's go and fix up the rest of it so to do the rest of them I'm going to grab our marquee tool again pick the top pixel like this and this time we want to take all the pixels from all of these layers so the way you do that in Photoshop is to copy the merge so you can do control shift and C or go up to edit and then copy merged so we're basically copying everything that's in this region on all the layers so I just copy that there then I'll hit control and V again and then V to move up like this or V to switch to our move tool and then press up to move it up one sprite uh, or one pixel even then we'll do the same on the bottom pixel like this and you want to make sure you do it so as we did on the top there we want to make sure we do it on the very bottom one as well just because it's not touching against another um, tile at the moment doesn't mean it won't be uh, we need to create that gap around every one of these tiles so I'm going to again control shift and C and then paste it switch to our move tool and then move down one sprite so now I can save this again as a PNG, overwrite the one we already have like that and then go back into Unity and now the change will be applied straight away in Unity so now we can move around as much as we want and now this tile is completely fixed up we don't have to worry about those little slices anymore um, appearing in the game so we can see they're still appearing on the original one but we've fixed it up on our sprite in this sheet and there you go, that's the, that's the most simple way that I found to actually fix up the pixels on a tile sheet because as I said the anti-aliasing technique does work some of the time but won't work a hundred percent of the time you'll still be left with weird kind of outlying bits so there you go thanks for watching this episode I hope it helped you uh, in making your own 2d games in the future I'll see you all very soon